we've been driving through Tennessee into Virginia today through a lot of rolling green hills. We're gonna be on the road for about another hour and a half. We're heading to the Shenandoah Valley Campground. Damn, it's busy, isn't it? There hasn't been one for a while. Our windshield is so disgusting. We gotta get here and clean it. There's sap in there. Yeah, there's like sap from our last stop. Are we getting the snack? Are we getting the snack? I think I got an opening right here. I'm John, this is Danny, and this is our home, Taterbug. There are many rewards and challenges that full-time RV life has to offer. Oh my especially with this little guy. Meet Abraham. Olay. So subscribe and come along for just a tiny snip of our family's life as we enjoy the trip. <laughs> <laughs> Are you picking up on that? Well, hopefully it's not too much of a <clears throat> rule-heavy campground. A bunch of police officers like Pio Pico. It's a good Sam. Just got to our RV park for the next two nights. This is a place I grew up going to. I've like done Halloween here before when I was really young, so all types of nostalgia going on for me. Abraham was a total gem today. Probably the best road day he's had. Danny's starving and is on a vlog strike until she's fed. I'm about to check in and we're gonna settle in here and run out, get some groceries and do a good cook since we got a, we got company. We got a friend visit. We don't normally get friends. So this RV park is known for a couple things. Hey man, come here. Other than a really pretty waterfall, it has a massive bunny. native bunny population. It's so stupid, but it's just like... No, it's a nice little thing to add in your day. It makes me smile every day. Right. Like, every single day, I get a funny notification, and it's just like... <laughs> Yeah, 
So we're here in the Shenandoah Valley campground and we're Dude. coming up with a game plan for what we're gonna do today. I think everybody's feeling a hike, right? Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful today. Made the chicken late last night. Everybody fell asleep. Jake and I ate some chicken. Look at him. Did you get any polio last night? We gotta come back here, babe. There's white water, there's ra rafting. This place excites me. We can come here in the fall on the way back down if you'd like. There's hoedowns that happen. For you should see Halloween, the stage. she said, remember? Halloween pops off. Those are her words. Yeah, let's tank camp. Danielle's already ready to move off Tater. She wants to live in a tent full time. No, no, I just like... I... <laughs> Jake made some good sense last night about us getting a tent on top of the Jeep. One of those top Jeep top tents. So that we can go to the, all the cool places that we drive by that we can't fit in with Tater. So are we going for a hike? There's a sparrow, I just opened the door. Just scared the hell out of me. See it? No. Just walk there around. There's a the bird. How'd it get in here? It is in there, right? Oh no. Oh, hey, he's gonna hurt careful. Himself. Okay, 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 okay. Here, take the camera. I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. I think he's doing good last I heard though. Where is it? There's a sign that says up here. Yeah. River tube entrance. Oh. I think that's it right there. favorite RV parks. I'm just gonna say it. And I'm not just biased because of my nostalgic attachment. Bottom line, I haven't done this in any other RV park. And there's a waterfall waiting for me at the end. Ah! <laughs> what a ride, y'all. Seriously guys, Shenandoah Valley Campground in Virginia is one of my all time favorite spots in all of the country. Like out of any place we boondocked, camped, RV parked, this place rocks. Especially when I'm here catching up with an old friend like Jake. Sadly, he had to get back to DC.
we have to go back to the Eastern Shore of Maryland, where we go every summer to bartend the beach crowd. But not before a little bit of engine trouble from Tater. Although I have to say, we kind of saw this one coming. It's time to talk about something that we've been dealing with this whole road trip that I haven't showed you yet. We've been having to jump Tater every time he sat still. This is an issue that just started this road trip. We didn't really anticipate this happening, but we figured we could, you know, just jump it every time to Maryland, knowing that's not the best thing for Tater, but we figured this isn't that long of a road trip. Only a couple stops and starts. Anyway, so here we are at our last stop, and now jumping Tater isn't working. So I'm cranking her over, and I'm getting a really like lagged start. I'm gonna head up to the hills of the front office, and I'm gonna call my stepdad, Mike, who knows everything about cars and trucks, and run uh, you know, a scenario by him, see what he thinks the next step should be. This uh, office here opens at nine and they have a mechanic around here. I might have to shell out a little bit for some labor to poke around, but figured in the meantime, I would love to interrupt your peaceful morning coffee with my issues. Did, uh, did uh, Danielle tell you about the winds or you know about the winds? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to, we were scooting out of here. We're up at 6.30, you know, packing up. I want to get out of here before the winds are too bad. And if they are, there's a cracker barrel right by the bridge. We can hunker down until it's safe to pass. We actually just lost like a friend of ours father's on an ice cream truck across that bridge. They have a mechanic here. I uh, just talked to him, told him the issue. He's on his way down with the jumper and we're gonna go from there. They don't have any spots open tonight. They're actually entirely booked for the night. So I tried to see if extending a night here was an option just to give us some time and they're full. So I don't really know how that's gonna work out. I'd hate to think that we're gonna screw somebody out of their Friday night camping experience, but that might be the case. So if you can see Tater started up, uh, it's an issue with the batteries and the alternator. So the batteries are a symptom of having a bad alternator. Essentially all the times I've jumped Tater this trip, uh, I've trashed the batteries. Uh, he has a better battery charger than the Jeep just jumping it, and he was able to bring it up to a voltage that was strong enough to start Tater. So basically if we just don't turn Tater off, until we get to Maryland, we should be good where we can fix the issue, which is now we need a new alternator and battery. Chewy! Always something, right? Well, I think this is where we'll leave you for now. Next time on the channel, we'll be crossing the Chesapeake Bay Bridge in some crazy high winds and finishing our road trip from Florida to Maryland in the exact same parking lot we left for California in last fall. My brother, Uncle Joel DeMuse. Ha <laughs> ha!